Hello, everybody. I'm Rachel. I'm Cindy. And today we are going to show you how to make our super easy spinach banana blender muffins. So um, we'll do this. There's very minimal ingredients involved. Should we show them the ingredients first? So we have spinach, spinach, chia seeds, banana, eggs, cocoa powder. Oh, oh, yes, and we'll also link to the recipe so you'll be able to see it. But these are very easy. So again, we just have some loose spinach, some fresh spinach. We have three small bananas. We have two eggs. We're going to probably use about a tablespoon of chia seeds. And Sydney asked if we could make these into chocolate muffins, right? So we have some unsweetened cocoa powder that we're also going to use for these muffins. So the um, first thing that we're going to do, just going to bend down, is... Um, Blend up the egg, banana, and spinach um, to make like a pretty thick um, blended blend. And right now I'm going to be opening the bini. Great. And we of course washed our hands before we did this. So Sydney, why don't you open the bananas? I'm going to add the spinach into the blender. Well, let's put all the bananas in here and we can have another banana later, okay? Just No, no, we're going to put them in here. One, do you want to do the other ones too? Yeah, we're doing all of them. We want to have all the banana in here. And we do have extra bananas. And notice that our bananas are pretty ripe. So the riper bananas, the better, usually the sweeter that they'll be. Two, one more banana. And if you're watching this, you can follow along with us and make these yourselves as well. So the banana, and then do you want me to do the eggs? Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to crack the eggs just directly into our blender. Banana. Okay. It's hard to mess out. That's okay. I'm just going to wash my hands. And if you have other veggies, you can also do this. You can add them out. Maybe some shredded carrot or shredded zucchini into this as well. So we just have to have spinach on hand. Just a little more spinach in there. I'm going to try this. What is it? Crunchy. It's really crunchy, huh? It kind of feels soft when you touch it, doesn't it? Okay, so we're kind of exploring the food as we go along. So I'm going to pause this real quick. Okay, we're back. So we blended up those three ingredients. As you can see, it's a pretty thin consistency, <laughs> almost smoothie-like. Sydney is now having her banana as well. Okay? <laughs> we are the only people enjoying these in the comfort of our home, just with our great product we sure um, Because they're for us. So the next thing we're going to do is add our dry ingredients. So I'm going to add about a cup of oats. In. Um, we're going to add a little bit of our chia seeds, so I'm going to do probably about a tablespoon. Chia seeds are great, they have fiber, they have protein, they have fats in there, um, so I like to add them, add a little extra boost in there when I can. Um, the other thing I'm going to add is our unsweetened cocoa powder. Let's add maybe, let's start with about half a cup. Or maybe not even half a cup. There, let's try that. So that's about um, a third of a cup. Yeah, pour it in. Great job. Um, the other thing is, this, the rest of this doesn't necessarily have to be blended, so you could always dump out the uh, wet and then mix it dry, but I like to just blend it because it's easier, and then I would have to use another bowl. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and blend that, and then after one round of blending, I'm also going to add in the um, baking powder, which I didn't mention earlier. So I'll add in the baking powder, okay. and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we did all of our blending. So here is our mixture. You'll see it's a brown color. Usually when we make these, it's a nice bright green color from the spinach, but because we decided to make them chocolate, 
um, it's kind of a brown color, right? Yes, and it's preheated to 350 and then we are using we're making these in our mini muffin tin we um, grease these with some cooking spray and the last thing we do is just to grab about oh, like one and a half tablespoons and just kind of put it in and we fill these about two-thirds of the way so Sydney's going to go ahead and do that great job and then we'll come back on when we put Put these in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes and we'll show you the finished product in a little bit, okay? Anything else you want to say? Um, so while I am doing this, you might not want to make it chocolate with the, with cocoa powder, maybe with chocolate chips. Oh, yeah, you could chocolate chips too, right? Yeah. yeah so I think that would be a better idea. Yeah, we didn't have a, happen to have chocolate chips on the oven. Okay, so nice. All right, we'll check back when they're all done. Hi, we are back and we finished cooking our muffins. Alex is joining us. She's up from her nap, so we're gonna, Sydney's already tried them, but um, do you wanna let everyone know what you think? They're very good. They're very good. So here's what they look like, if you can see. Oh, and Alex. These are our chocolate spinach banana muffins, right? So we added some chocolate in there to see how it would go. Everything seemed to be good. We cooked them for about 15 minutes at 350. Hmm, they're very good, we're happy with them. So if you have a chance to give them a try, let us know what you think. That's all for now. Do you guys wanna say bye to the camera? Bye. And you might wanna use it with chocolate chips or whatever, whatever chocolate thing you have. Yeah. Bye. Do we like chocolate? Yeah, we're a chocolate fan. All right. We're a chocolate fan forever. Bye.